thought I'd do um, a short vlog today, um, just because we've got a lot going on really. Um, it's about 11, half 11, something like that, I don't actually have a clock in here. Um, and I'm currently waiting for workmen to come in to fix the roof. Um, we had problems with this before. Um, the roof was leaking over the <coughs> electrics in the bathroom. Um, but they fixed that and now it's leaking over our bedroom and the ceiling is seriously bowing and there's mould everywhere literally the mould came in literally like over the space of two days and I'll, I'll show you now how bad it is um, there was some there before in case you're wondering how I didn't notice nut mould um, <clears throat> I just thought it was condensation <clears throat> excuse me so I bought one of them um, moisture trap things to try and sort it um, and we were going to into town today to get some mould and mildew spray. Um, so literally in the space of about two or three days, this mould has got as bad as this. Okay, so as you can see, here is the mould goes all the way down there. That's the worst bit, obviously. And here as well. If I get a bit closer, you can see that <clears throat> it's like... It's like yellowy dot. Sorry, that was my tie on the box. <laughs> yeah, you can see like a yellow dots. That's water actually coming straight through. And oh, it just makes me so depressed. I hate it. Um, <clears throat> we think that <clears throat> the ceiling has actually come through before and they've plastered over it <clears throat> and not actually fixed the roof. So, yeah. Okay, so I've just come into the bathroom and seen this lot. Um, this mould was nowhere near as bad yesterday. This has literally grown overnight. And as you can see, all of those yellow dots are water. It almost looks like nicotine stained. Yeah, it almost looks nicotine stained. What's the matter? Um, I'm pretty sure I can hear creaking. Oh, I'm just terrified. I want to get out of the house now. I don't know if you can see, but it's really bowing. So, yeah. I'm really scared. And, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. So, yes, as you can see, it's um, quite a big issue. Um, I hate it. I'm convinced that it's affecting my chest. Um, I'm terrified about what it's doing to Jacob. Um, you know, is it affecting his breathing or anything? Um, so, hopefully that gets sorted today. Um, so far they haven't turned up yet and they were supposed to be here, f well they said 11 onwards so it's now quarter to 12. I was slightly impatient, I was, um, I've was. i been waiting for them. <coughs> so yes, um, but yes, we also need to go into town to get some decorating stuff for the kitchen, um, which is slightly more exciting. Um, I, just, I don't know if you'll see uh, my previous videos, I talked about um, Jamie not wanting to buy more decorating items, but I did. Um, and I got my way, um, as usual. <laughs> so, yes, sorry, it's shaking. Yes, I shall update you and let you know what's happened. Okay, so it's now half three, as you can see. Okay, backwards clock. Um, <clears throat> the people have just come and they were about as useful as a chocolate teapot. They looked at it and said, oh no, that's not my field. I can't deal with that. I said, well, what is your job as a roofer then? Um, and he said, well, my job is to fix the roof, not the mould. And I said, right, okay, so why don't you fix the roof then? He said, oh, no, I can't, it's raining. Right, okay, <laughs> so why did you even bother coming out then? And he said, oh, I needed to come out to survey it. So, yes, I'm fuming right now. I'm absolutely livid. You know, I explained to him that it's over my baby's cot. Um, you know, it could... Um, fall down at any point I walk right over him and he just didn't seem to care so yes I shall be writing a strongly worded letter um but yes at least we can go out to town now and it's absolutely pouring it down so we're gonna get soaked but oh well hi guys um so today we went into town to buy um some bits for decorating the kitchen and um decorating the Christmas tree okay so to start with we have duck egg um, matte kitchen paint. We think this will do um, this kitchen fine. 
Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad Jamie finally agreed to it. Um, pack of paint brushes. All of this stuff we literally went really cheap with because we're only going to use it once and then we'll throw it away. Um, these paint brushes were a pound for uh, five. These rollers were, I can't even believe how cheap they were. They were £1.50 each. Like, that's just ridiculous. I can't even believe that. £1.50. It's amazing. And this gloss set. This is to do the door um, and the window frame. That was a pound. Um, got some masking tape to go around the cupboards. Um, I don't know if you can see. Oh, no, that was... Yeah, if you can see over there, the previous people got paint on there, on the cupboard, so I think I'm going to um, scrape that off. And we've got some sanding paper. The right ones this time, the ones we bought before were like um, like an iron shape, if that makes sense, like a triangle with a square bottom. Um, but yeah, these are the right ones, and of course, because as you can see, these walls really need sanding. So... Um, yeah, Jamie absolutely hates doing it, but at least if we do it now, we won't have to do it again in, you know, forever really. Um, got some quick fix grout. Now we've not really, we've not used this before, um, but the kit, the grouting here could just use a bit of a freshen up really. I mean, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, see that is pretty grim. It's actually worn away there. I didn't notice that. But yeah, I just want it all to look fresh basically. Okay, so here's the other bits we bought. We bought two, um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Advent calendars. Oh my goodness, it was right there. <laughs> bought two advent calendars. Um, I thought Jamie would have the Mars because I wanted the Maltesers, but we're actually ha we're gonna have to put like G and J on them because he'll end up eating mine. Not that it makes a difference actually, but <laughs> um, yeah, we went into Primark to see what they had. Um, I picked up this really cute little romper suit. It looks really big for Jacob, but I keep forgetting that he's not a newborn anymore. It's got like um, a tartan pocket, not that he's going to use that. <laughs> and little knee pads. I just love romper suits, I think they're so cute. And this was oh, £6. And <clears throat> we went in there initially to get some of these, these kind of like fleecy zip up um, baby grows for night time. Um, it's got little paw prints at the bottom, yeah, and just because it's easier to change them at night. Um, yeah, but they only had this one, which Jamie thinks is a bit girly, but I think it's cute and it's really, really soft as well. Oh, it's just lovely. And that was £7. It's just stupidly cheap, really. Can't really go wrong. And picked up this pram suit as well from Primark. Um, we've got six to nine months, I don't know if you can see, because it's... I don't know, it just looks a bit small, um, and I've taken all the labels off and everything, because we tried it on him and it fits perfectly, a little chunky, <laughs> so yeah, we've got a fur hood and tartan hood, and that was, I think, um, 9.99, something like that. Um, next, I bought some comfort from Wilkinson's, all of this stuff now is from Wilkinson's, um, I didn't actually smell this, but... I thought I'd buy this cotton fresh. You can't really go wrong with cotton fresh. Um, oh yeah, this is some boots. Just bought some dummies because we keep losing loads. So we went for a phase um, of not losing any for ages, and now we've got we're down to none. Um, picked up some of these bowls, just like little snack bowls. These were one pound eighty for six, which I thought was quite good. Some Vanish Gold. Um, if anyone's used any of this, let me know how it is. Um, because Jamie gets stains down him all the time. And obviously Jacob gets um, pooey baby grows, bless him. So yeah, I thought I'd try this. This was on special. Um, the smaller pot, I think for 400 grams, was £4. And this one was 4 95 And this is obviously nearly a kilo. So I thought I'd get this one. Um, bought a new toilet brush, which Jamie broke the other one. <laughs> so, yeah, and just some formula. Bought some tinsel. Oh, wow, on the camera that looks really green, but it's kind of more of a teal, a tealy colour. Um, that was two metres for a pound. Um, it's even got that tinsel smell. 
Um, I'm quite fussy about my tinsel. I don't like it kind of, I, I say ratty, if you know what I mean. It has to be nice and thick and plush. Um, so I was quite surprised to go into Wilkinson's and find, you know, this for a pound. Really nice. We bought two lots of these and one lot of silver. Now this is actually silver. It's not silver and black, although it does look like it. It's um like reflecting itself, so it looks black, but it's not. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. So this is silver, but it's just reflecting black for some reason. Um, I've got some little baubles. Um, just purple, blue, teal, and silver. I'm not sure if we'll put the. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we'll put up yet. We'll probably end up getting some more. Um, got some bigger baubles. Oh, I've got to show you the price. These were £2.50 and these were £2. I thought it was a really good deal. And got, oh yeah, I got this as well. My first Christmas. Normally I don't like, you know, just random decorations on the tree, but I thought I had to get this for Jacob because it's his first Christmas. And then we can keep it forever and ever and then put it up when we have more children. I pass it down and I'll see. It's going to be a Christmas tradition. And I've got this star as well, which I thought was really pretty. Um, yeah, I'm surprisingly, what's the word, fussy about my tree. I think because growing up our trees looked a bit ragged and tacky. But yeah. Yep, so that is our haul. I'm not sure how much it all came to, but it's not really important. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.